Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're going to cut out a, <laughs> a shape and a photograph. This is like the tenth time I've done this because I'm trying to do a I'm trying to achieve a particular effect which is similar to uh, to uh, Photoshop and I've been attempting to try and teach myself when I should have actually just looked at it looked it up on YouTube quicker but anyway let's go here so take the uh, smart selection brush which is here and then up the top where is the uh, the, the tool uh, toolbar tool thing so go to smart edge and click that and uh, you can adjust the size here and we'll, this will come into play in a little bit so first just uh, just uh, drag your drag the, the, the thing across your figure uh, and try and get everything in there uh, there we go make sure the hand is in there there we go so it's not complete um, so you probably got see now you've got more than than you than you wanted so that's fine so now you turn off the smart edge like that and uh, now with the if you look up here it says add is the shift key and remove is the control key and when you're fine-tuning or fixing your, the 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 selection then you'll be wanting to use the shift and control keys in quick succession back and forth in order to uh, to get your selection nicely cleaned up so while it's still still broad you just quickly do this and get most of the major areas oops I've knocked out my knocked out the arms of my glasses there all right so this is the way we cut ourselves out cut ourselves out cut ourselves out this is the way we've cut ourselves out for the tenth time today la, la. <laughs> i mean really i mean i keep i don't know why i just i just i, I neglected to say i'm getting quite good at this uh, at this now so that's like i suppose a good side effect of that so uh, <laughs> so there that's that's pretty not too bad so now you just uh, go back up here to the size area and just make that a little smaller a good 20 you can also highlight that and then just type it in but I'm too too lazy to do that right now and then you can just use the uh, whoops oh I undid that so now I have to undo smart selection undo smart selection to get my whole thing back and see if you use the scroll key scroll wheel on your mouse so you can scroll yourself back in and out or use the uh, i think it's the control plus minus keys uh, uh, as well so uh that looks it's still a little bit large in terms of the brush size so ooh, that's probably too small <laughs> sorry about that i should be more serious i guess so yeah so then you just oops so as they say just ah see now then you can do that so then you just go up here undo because you have to oh i did it again see i was because i i can't talk and chew bubblegum at the same time apparently so yeah oops there see i was that was the shift key i hit inadvertently so so i have to so then i see what i mean the uh if you hit the that's a little small i guess at the moment but uh yeah so i'm going to clean this up and fast forward that uh uh till we're done so fast forwarding fast forwarding la 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 fast forwarding the d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d yeah, a million times a day. Do -do, do -do -do -do. Uh, do a nice job. Do a nice job. Do a nice job for the folks. Take your job seriously, man. Yeah,
should do it. As you can see, you can get pretty precise with that. Um, so now we have the, oops, I think I missed a little spot there. Uh, so now that we have the selection, we basically, you can just copy and paste it now into uh, whatever you want, do whatever you want with it. Uh, on my particular thing to do here. I want to try and figure out how to outline it like they do so easily or it appear to be so easily in in Photoshop. <clears throat> like they have the figures or the thumbnails with the white outline and I'm trying to do something similar to that but it's uh, it's confusing <laughs> to do it in uh, PaintShop Pro. Uh, I figure I'll get there eventually if I keep at it, <laughs> which is why I was singing that song. Like, this is the sixth time I've cut myself out today. Da, 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 da. So, uh, yeah, so that's about it. So now, um, now I go Control C, Control C, and now with the selection, I think I want to uh, modify. See, I can feather. And that's the thing here, because if if you don't have it feathered, well then like this is one of the, another why I I I, uh, I had to I've redone it. It's because if you don't feather the the edge is really harsh. It's, it's like sharp demarcation. So uh, I had it on ten for some other thing. I don't know if it needs ten exactly. Yeah, so four looks pretty good. So then you go okay. So now that's feathered by four pixels all around, and. Uh, Control C, Control C. Should I copy it again? Probably, yeah. And um, now I can just paste this into a new picture. So, so then you just go new. And this is the size I've, this is for the thumbnail, for the YouTube thumbnail. So it's like 1280 by 720. You go OK, and then Control V. And there we are. And now, one of the things that I can do is properties, and I can get uh, layer styles, which I thought was kind of cool, which is like an outer glow. And then you pick, well, I, I like, I wanted white, so this is sort of where I'm at. So I've already, this is already pre picked, so I've had 43. And the pace opacity of 80. I think uh, I think I want to go back up to 100 here. 90, 100. So 43 is a good size, and you can't really tell in this, but the uh, there's a nice little white glow around it now. Except it's not that sharp line that that, that happens in uh, in uh, in Photoshop. Now it looks like this cleaned up pretty nicely, uh, and I'm gonna there's you can see under my my uh, chest or breast area there there's a little a couple of sweat marks but I'm gonna bring that into a uh, lightroom after and and clean those out so it'll look look a little better as well there but uh, yeah I think for I think uh, so far that oh I didn't say okay oh gosh I see this is a thing you know I, you go all uh, right layer styles see I didn't say okay so go okay. there now I have it now I go okay so that's uh, that that brings us to the end of this little tutorial so thanks for thanks for watching